Hello, and welcome to Game Theory. I'm Professor Naomi Utgoff of the United States Naval Academy. In this first of two videos about Bertrand competition, we'll introduce Bertrand duopoly with symmetric costs and find its Nash equilibria. Bertrand's model appeared as a response to and criticism of Cournot's model. Unfortunately, Cournot died back in 1877, so we don't know what he would have said back to Bertrand. Bertrand's model is important to us both for its original contribution as a response to Cournot's model, and in the flavor of the next video, for its contribution as a game with no Nash equilibrium. Bertrand comes along in 1883 and says, no, 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 Cournot, don't be ridiculous. Firms don't choose quantities and then let the market set the price. Firms choose prices and then they respond to market demand. Bertrand takes Cournot's model, firms producing identical goods, and selling to a common group of consumers, symmetric constant average and marginal costs of production, 10 in this example, but instead of firms selecting quantities, Bertrand has them select prices. Bertrand observes that consumers buy from the firm with a lower price, and if the firms have identical prices, each captures half the market. First, we'll consider the game with whole dollar prices only. Bertrand's basic premise is that given the opportunity, Firms will undercut each other until each firm names a price equal to its marginal cost, i.e. both firms select a price of 10. Each firm earns zero profit. We'll check that neither firm has a profitable deviation, so these prices form a Nash equilibrium. If a firm raises its price, its profit is still zero since it is now the higher priced firm and therefore no consumers buy its goods. On the other hand, if a firm lowers its price, it now makes negative profit, since it now loses money on each unit it sells, and the consumers come flooding through the door because it is the lower-priced firm. The fact that prices are in whole dollars means there is another pure strategy Nash equilibrium, in which each firm chooses price equal to 11. The firms now split a small positive profit. Neither firm can raise its price. If a firm did so, it would have no customers and make zero profit. If a firm lowers its price to 10, it will capture the whole market, but make zero profit nevertheless because its price and constant marginal cost are equal. If a firm lowers its price below 10, it will lose money. It takes a bit more work, but we could show that the above two Nash equilibria are the only pure strategy Nash equilibria in this game. We could also find a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. Now, we'll allow the firms to select any non-negative price, $10.27, $9.99.99999 cents, the square root of 211, 3.14159265355 dollars, you name it. Bertrand's premise that firms will undercut each other until each firm names a price equal to its marginal cost is now razor sharp. The same argument we used to show that 1010 is a Nash equilibrium in version 1 still holds. However, that's it for Nash equilibria in version 2. If a firm prices even a smidge above 10, say $10.01, the other firm can undercut it while still pricing above 10. In this example, say a 10.009 cents. It takes some more work, but we could show that 1010 is the unique Nash equilibrium in version 2. Thanks so much for watching this video about Bertrand competition. In the next video, We'll introduce Bertrand duopoly with asymmetric costs and finally arrive at a game with no Nash equilibrium.